Hi, so the slides before this one have been on Albert Frank Cox, the first black person to receive a PhD in mathematics. Um, I will not be going through those slides, but I wanted to make this video to really highlight the impact and importance he made as opposed to just putting on slides right there. So given that he is the first black person to receive a PhD in mathematics, that in itself should arguably sit with anyone in recognizing his impact and importance. But I wanted to read some quotes by his coworkers um, instead of just putting them on a slide. I feel like reading them out loud really shows the impact and goes farther than just putting them on a slide. So the first one is his accomplishments help make it possible for other black mathematicians such, such, uh, such as Dudley Welkin Woodward, William Waldron Shiflin Clater, Major Lee Lee Brown, Evelyn Boyd Grainville, and David Blackwell to receive their doctorates from American universities. Second, we have year after year, our, this is from Howard University, by the way, year after year, our master's students consistently did much better in departmental oral examinations on material they studied with Cox than on material they'd studied with me or from our colleagues Woodward, Clater, and others. And then another one is, in 1957, the departments of mathematics and physics were merged and Cox chaired the combined department until 1961. He retired in 1966 with the reputation of having supervised more master's thesis than any other member of Howard's faculty. Um, before reading the last one, I just wanted to pause and just kind of show that he was not just a man that received a PhD, but he did have a lasting impact on his students and so much so that his coworkers went the lengths to highlight um, him after his death. So I will read the last one. While Cox did not live to see the inauguration of the PhD program at Howard, it is believed that by many that Cox did much to make it possible. Cox helped to build up the department to the point that the PhD program became a practical next step. He gave the department a great deal of credibility, primarily because of his personal prestige as a mathematician, as being the first black to receive a PhD in mathematics, because of the nature and kinds of appointments to the faculty that were made while he chaired the department, and because of the kinds of students that he attracted to Howard to study mathematics at both the undergraduate and master's levels. And this again reflects what I just said. But I also wanted to know, as you can see in the slides, um, they're, they're spread upon like early life and then like gaining his PhD and then life after. And then as you can see, a lot of his accomplishments like and honors happened well after his death. He died in 1969, but here we have a plaque in 2006. I added an image and the image is his dad's name. If you can see, I don't know if you can read like it's kind of blurry, but on it, it says the son of, um, and then it has like his dad's name and then to whom, and then received the first, um, first black person to receive a PhD in mathematics. So as we can see here, we're in 2006 and then 1980, the National Association of Mathematics established a Cox Talbot address in his honor. So though he died, his legacy still remains and his impact did not stop in 1969 when he died. So I just wanted to really highlight that his impact still reigns today and is still an influential part in many people's lives and he is not just recognized as being the first black man to receive a PhD in mathematics but it goes so much more beyond that.